Okay. Okay. Okay then, hello everybody, happy holidays, welcome back to another Paper Benders video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fold this nativity scene. It comes with four pieces, the stable, Joseph, baby Jesus, and Mary. And all you need to fold it are four pieces of paper. So you can make these mini sized. I cut a regular size piece of paper into four smaller pieces, and that's what I'm going to be using to fold this. Anyway, let's get right into it. To start off, we are going to fold Joseph. So first we're gonna start by folding the paper the hot dog way. No, you call it all. Just like that. Then we're gonna fold the paper down like this. We're gonna fold it back up parallel to this line. So we're kind of doing just one of those folds that it gives you a layer like this. You want these lines to almost be going uh, the exact same direction as you. So you want this to be straight and this to be straight. Once you do that, you're gonna take this paper, fold the corner down like this. You're gonna fold this down. And yeah, stay safe. And then same thing, after you fold that down, you're gonna fold it up and like, keep the lines parallel. So you're gonna try to fold it up the exact same way you folded it down. So this way we've kind of formed our hand and we also have um, Joseph's head right here. So next, uh, if you want, you can kind of move this back a little bit so it's not going exactly with, it's not parallel to the body just so it's facing a little bit different, of a different direction. After that, you're going to fold down this first layer to make a little bit of his hair. And then you'll just fold down the back. And then on this side, now this part's a little bit tricky, but just to kind of make a nose shape, you're gonna fold, you're gonna push this part back and then this part will kind of start to fold over automatically. So you'll just make a little pocket right there. Fold this corner down, fold this part back, and we have Joseph. So if you want, you can use this to, you can kind of open up the bottom to stand him up, but then if you're just laying it down, then this is fine. And that is how you fold the Joseph part of the nativity scene. Next up, we're going to fold Mary. So first, we're going to start by folding the paper in half a uh, hamburger way. Once we do this, we are going to fold this entire top section down like that. And maybe leave about a couple centimeters of space between the bottom and the fold. Once we do this, we're going to turn it over. And we're going to fold this down uh, pretty much exactly over just to make like a triangle shape. So these should line up pretty well and these should line up pretty well right here. We do that, we're gonna do the same thing we did with Joseph and kind of uh, break it out almost exactly the same. But if anything, we want it to be leaning down a little bit just so we kind of get this hood effect. Once we get that, we're just gonna take this piece right here. It's gonna be kind of tricky, but we're gonna try to get it to fold inside. Once you get that, we can are going to fold Mary's hair. We're just gonna do the same thing with Joseph, fold it down. And this part's a little bit different, but we're just gonna fold this part up. Just the very front. And then you can also take the top part of the hood and bring that down a little bit. Okay. Then again, we're gonna do the same thing we did with Joseph. We're gonna turn it over. This one's a little bit easier, I think, though. We're just gonna nudge this paper back to make the nose shape. And then once we do that, it's gonna kind of automatically fold this piece of paper. And then the hand is really sharp. If you want, you can just kind of 
fold that back so it's a little bit, um, I know, just a little bit less sharp and yeah, less pointy. So we can turn it back over. We see that we are done with Mary. You have the hand, the head, the hood, and she's kind of crouching down. So um, you can just lay it like this, or if you want, you can, again, just open up the bottom legs and you can use that to stand her up. But yeah, that is how you fold the Mary part of the nativity scene. Third, we are going to fold the baby Jesus, and this one's not too hard either. So we're gonna start by getting a center crease down the middle. We're gonna need this uh, throughout the folding just to know where the center is so you can get things together. Okay. Then we're gonna kind of fold out like an ice cream cone. We're gonna try to get the fold all the way down to this middle right here. And then we're just gonna fold a little bit up. This is gonna make this part, so you can decide. This is kind of just the sides of the trough that he's laying in. So you don't want it to go all the way to the middle, and you want to make sure you leave space for Jesus in the middle. So once you do that, you're just gonna take the paper and fold it back out um, everywhere down here. So what, where it gets to the middle, you're just gonna fold it back out so it never passes the middle. And you're gonna do that. Just fold it like this. Once you do that, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this side will be easier, because this way, all you really need to do, instead of looking at this, all you need to do is match up this side with the back. So just match these two pieces of paper up. And then do the same thing. Uh, fold that back in. Okay, once we have this, we're gonna start unfolding the baby Jesus. So we're gonna turn it over. And we are gonna fold the paper down. We're gonna try to fold it like right on this line. So if you have to draw an imaginary line from both these corners, that's where we're folding it. Once we do that, we're gonna fold it back up right here. This kind of will make a stomach. And then we can fold that down, uh, depending on just how big you want the stomach to be. Then, this part's again a little bit tricky because you're trying to fold underneath a piece of paper. But you can lift this up, and we're just gonna fold a piece of paper up on this side. And this is gonna make his head. So I usually want it to be popping out a little bit. And then just fold this corner down to make that part. And I always think this is a little bit of a sharp curve, so I just try to make it a little bit rounder right here. So I can do that just by folding a little bit right there. Turn it back over. And then you'll have stuff covering up the bottom, so it's okay if this looks weird, because it'll be covering up right there. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but for his feet. So, I'm gonna fold this piece of paper up kinda underneath this layer. I'm gonna fold, this time I kind of just pull it away and tuck it underneath. And yeah, this is uh, the shape I use, but you can use whatever shape you think works best. But I think something like this will work fine. And once you have that, you're just gonna fold the trough up to meet up with him. And you can match up however you want. I just kind of put it halfway over, so it's kind of like he's halfway laying there. And crease it good. And if you're laying it down, you can kind of just leave it like this, but I purposely made it able to stand up, and that's why it's kind of weird on camera, because I only have the top view, but see it from the side? I just folded the back underneath, so if you want it like on a wall, or something like on a shelf, then you can have it standing up like this. So if you do want it standing up like that, all you gotta do is take the back and fold it um, about half, about like all the way back up to the top. Not all the way though. I usually have a little bit shorter. And you just crease that really good. And then you have the trough with the baby Jesus laying in it. And then if you want, you also have a stand for it to be on a shelf. And that is how you fold the baby Jesus. So we are going to finish up the nativity by folding the stable in the back. So this part I think is pretty easy. It is a little bit of 3D folding though. And that might be a little bit tricky, but overall this is probably the least complicated folding out of all the other ones. So we're gonna start by folding it in half the hamburger way. And we're gonna unfold it right after. We're just doing this so we can have a middle crease to see and make sure everything is kept even and symmetrical. So fold that in half. 
hold that. Don't crease it too much, but enough so you can see a line in the middle. Once you do that, you're gonna fold each of these corners down, just kind of uh, in a roof shape. And they don't have to be super even here, but just make sure uh, they are kind of even because it'll make the next step easier. Then this part, we're just gonna fold the paper. Um, try to keep this line, try to keep this fold parallel to the line. So you don't want it uneven like this. You want it to be kind of straight. I'm gonna crease this really good. And you're gonna unfold it, and you're gonna fold it. Try to keep it. If you you want the fold to be going exactly right here, so it stays the exact same side, because these are both different sides of the roof. So we want them to be about the same size, as close as to the same size as possible. Let's do that, we'll crease it really good. And we can fold these together. So we're not gonna fold them all the way, we're gonna fold them about halfway so it's sticking straight up like this. And we're gonna pinch the top. So this part's a little bit tricky, but you're gonna pinch the top, kind of make it go back and forth like this. You can see it from the top, it's back and forth. And then that'll just kind of make the top of the roof. And once we have that, we're going to take these sides, fold them, again, just try to keep them the same width as these parts of the roof, increase that good, and then you kind of see if we fold it, you already have this bending over, that's what we want, so we want to get this, we just want to get this side of the roof bending over, uh, just kind of like your uh, stereotypical A roof. the same thing on the other side. So if you're wondering why we're making this stick out, this is just so we can have it kind of on a stand in the, like, how we can have it on a stand in the background and we can see um, it standing up on its own instead of balancing on something. So same thing, I'll just kind of have that go over the edge like your traditional A roof house. And that is a stable. So as you can see, when we put it like this, it should be able to stand up. And if it doesn't, you can always just put something behind it. I have a fan going on it, so it's kind of hard to get stand. But yeah, that is how you fold the stable. So that is how to fold the nativity scene, which includes the stable, Mary, baby Jesus, and Joseph. I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comments. And yeah, I hope you have a happy holiday season. Merry Christmas. And yeah, I'll see you next time.